Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday morning mobility flow. My name is Coach Deb, and today we're going to work with single stick and double sticks. We're going to start our warm up with one stick, and also too today I'm going to be highlighting some single leg strength work, working with a glider. So if you do have a glider at home, or if you don't, you can always use a dish towel. They glide pretty well too. If not, no worries. All right, let's get this class started. So taking a nice wide horse stance. We're gonna start with our three planes warm up. And let's take a big inhale up, lightly gripping the stick. Ooh, that's a bright light. And exhale. <laughs> inhale up. It's 9 a.m. in California right now. <laughs> and hold it up high. Going into a nice lateral tilt. So let's just take it right and left. Keeping that movement in that upper body, just really preparing the spine for movement. Let's take the stick up high. And let's bring the stick right in front of the chest and go right into a nice little transverse turn. Start focusing on the breath. Throughout the class, I'll be cueing you with some breath work to help assist you into these movements. Let's do one more. Nice. Lowering the stick, taking it right across the hips, feet parallel. And let's just go into a little hinge forward, 90 degrees, not too deep on this one yet. And rise up. Let's do it again. Hinge forward, maybe you go 10% deeper. Rise up. One more time. Let's hinge forward. And come on up. Nice, soften the shoulders. Okay, going straight to my second stick. So these are six foot sticks. If you're 5'10 and taller, or you have really long arms, you would go to the seven foot sticks. So here we go. We're gonna continue with a nice little flow. Taking the sticks out parallel. They're right in front of your feet, and you've got a nice, nice white horse stance. Drive the sticks in, and let's just go ahead and start stirring the pot. Warming up the shoulders. So you can bring the sticks wider too. You don't want them clanging together. So opening it up like you're doing the breaststroke here with the breath and now open wide and let's reverse. Keep driving the sticks, radiating them into the ground at least 20 to 30%. And circle, I can see they're moving out as I circle. <laughs> Couple more, and shake it out. Coming into a nice human sail, but we're gonna do the human sail with a little bit of a flow, with a little bit of movement. So six come right on the inside of the feet, and you're gonna drive the sticks forward and come into a sit position, squat. Grip is slightly higher than shoulders. So you're gonna sit, and Slowly open up, open up the chest. Let's take the movement, let's do five more reps. And open, really feel those pecs lengthening here, those biceps, three more. And open up, get nice and warmed up. Let's do one more. And hold, 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 hold it open. Wrap the sticks back. Take them parallel again, and we're gonna take a nice little lunge stance. So right foot forward, left back. Driving those sticks in, drive them in hard. So I'm on a nice wood surface here. If you're on a carpet, you're gonna to have to probably drive a little bit stronger into the floor. Sticks, or, or foot is right between the sticks. And let's go into a press forward, opening up that left hip, drive. Now I want you to just pull the arm back. 
we're going into a nice little flow, a twist in that upper thoracic spine, not too deep. Breathe. Take four more. Three, two, one. Both sticks come forward. Slowly open your right stick. Right stick. And just pull that arm slightly behind. And wrap it back. Open the opposite. Wrap it back. And release. Let's take that other side. So nice, strong split stance here. Leg is extended back. Keep that front knee at 90. And drive. Here we go. Pull it left, right. The movement, again, is just in my upper body. Keeping those arms strong. Feeling a nice little opening in that right hip. Take four more. And bringing both sticks forward. Hold and drive. Here we go, left side. Slowly open. Feeling that right in my right hip, a little bit more lengthening in that hip flexor. Come back and open. Let's do one more each side. Open wide. Breathe. And ease on out. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're gonna warm up the ankles, warming up those ankle joints, still working with the double stick. And again, if you just have one, you would just place the stick at 12 o'clock and drive it right in front of you. Driving the sticks in at least 40 to 50%, maybe a little bit more. Let's just start lifting the heel and working unilaterally. So working it right, left. Super important to keep those ankle joints strong. Let's do one more each side. And now let's raise both heels up. If it's too much pressure on the ankles, just stick to the unilateral movement. So here we go, raising both heels. Coming up on your high heels <laughs> and lower. Let's do it again, lift up and lower. Now lifting up, we're gonna take a slight shift to three o'clock, rolling on the ball of that foot here. And you're feeling it in that right pinky toe, that left big toe. Try to keep those knees centered and switch. And switch. One more time, take it nine o'clock, lift back to 12. Now slowly hover the heels, don't lower them, try not to lower them, hover at six. And let's start on the other side. Lift to 12, go to nine, three, one more time to nine, and three, back to 12, hover, 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 and lower. Nice job, nice job. Okay, we are gonna do a little hamstring stretch, highlighting two, both sticks here. And I'm gonna take you into some warm-ups with the adductors and starting in a little monkey hang. Okay, so for now, the sticks I'm gonna show to you this way. They're at an angle. You're slightly behind it, palms are pressing down. Let's start with that right foot forward. Flex that foot. You're gonna glide the arms down the stick. You're using them as rails. Slowly glide down, breathe. Focus on that right leg, feeling it in that hamstring and calf. Pull the hips back a little bit more. Go to your range of motion. Keep that foot flexed. Now a little bit of 
feedback in the palms here, connecting to the stick. We're gonna do four presses, just small little presses. Here we go, press one, two, three, and four. Hold, 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 slightly, slowly glide back up. Nice. Perfect, shake it out. Let's get the other leg, left leg. Here we go, rest the sticks across the shoulders again. Left foot forward this time, foot is flexed. Start pulling the hips back and gliding down. Keep those arms nice and strong and straight, just like the sticks. Feet back in the hands, start pressing. Press one, two, three, and four. Hold. Every time you press, you're going to feel a little bit of a deeper um, stretch in that left leg. It's interesting how that happens. <laughs> and let's slowly glide back up. Nice job. Okay. Putting one stick to the side for now. We're going to go into a um, hanging monkey series. A little bit different though. So we're going to take the stick right in front of us and let's just do a little grip activation to warm up our grip prior to our brachiation, our hanging movements. So palms facing back and raise that stick up, chest height. I want you to think 30 to 40 percent tension and push the stick together. One, two, three, push. Really be mindful in these activations. Focus on what muscles you're activating here. In this case, it's the anterior chain. You're feeling it in your pecs, biceps, delts, core is tight. Now, let's think 30 to 40 to 50 percent pull even harder. You're activating that posterior chain, feeling it in those lats and those triceps. Breathe. Now let's push. 40 to 50 percent. One, two, three, push. As you push, I want you to raise that stick up high. Raise it up high. Keep that activation. Keep those knees softened. One, two, three, pull. Pull. Really focus on feeling it. Getting that feedback. Here we go. Keep that pull activation in lower. Keep lowering, chest height, now push, push. 40 to 50%, lower. Now pull, one, two, three, pull, yes. Ease off. Switching our grip. So stick comes into the palms, thumbs are pointing to the outside of the handles, and a little bit of a softened elbow, and we're just gonna do a few push pulls. 40 to 50%, Tension here. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, pull. And push. And pull. One more time. We're getting ready for those hanging movements. And push. And pull. Ease off. Nice. Switching your grip. Let's take a nice high reach. Wall slide, slide the stick behind the head, neck and just rest it on the tip of the shoulders. Take a nice wide arm, scare crow. And let's just start in a nice little lateral tilt. Feeling that horizontal line again. Breathe. All right, leverage is in that right hand and start guiding the stick down, down, down. We're going to connect the stick and then stick to the floor. So with that left hand, start guiding the stick down. Nice and slow. And you're reaching right at the top of the stick here. If you can, if this is your, if this is it for you, that is fine. But if you can bring the stick closer to that right heel, you're going to get a, a, a longer length here through that left side. Now, with the right hand, let it go and just let it hang. And I want you to just start 
putting the weight into the stick and just letting the body hang here. This is our hanging monkey. Right here. Breathe. Now, right leg, right knee. Start to dip it. And you can feel a deeper opening here, especially through that arm. Breathe. With that right arm, I want you to wrap it behind the stick so the palm is facing me. Your palm is facing me. Feedback pressing into the stick here. Make sure you have a strong drive into the floor. You're still in that little bend in the right knee. And now we're gonna just straighten it and shift it to the left. And just a little dip, not too deep. And let's flow to the right. One more time to the left. Maybe go a little bit deeper. You can open that leg out a little more and feel that in the right adductor, that inner thigh. Load is in that left foot and press the body up. Bring that foot in just a little bit. Wrap again behind the stick and slowly bring the stick back to that starting point. Nice, while we're here, let's just make little baby circles with a stick, a little mobility here. <sighs> Getting ready for that left side. Let's roll back with the breath and go back to your starting point here. Here we go, little tilts again, starting to the right and left. Take it right, leverage is in the left hand. Start guiding that stick further down, tilting, nice deep lateral tilt. With that right hand, start guiding the stick right to the floor, drive. All right, reach to the top. And if you can, bring the stick a little bit closer to the heel, if not, wherever it feels comfortable for you. Release that left arm. And we are in a hang. Just enjoy this, that whole right lateral line is opening. Left knee, take a little dip. Come on out. Now with that left arm, I want you to wrap behind the stick. So you, have, you have nice, strong support here. Drive the stick in and still bending with that left knee here. Let's go back into that dip. And let's flow to the right. Not too deep on this one. Flow to the left. And let's try to go a little deeper in this one. You can open that right, right leg a little bit wider. And here we go, flow. Feeling into that left adductor. Breathe. Load is in that right foot again. Press the body back up. Heel toe the foot in a little bit. And Slowly come on out. Nice. Go ahead and do a little back behind the shoulders. Kayaking, small circles, small circles. And reverse. Beautiful. Okay, we are going on to some strength work with the second stick. We're gonna go out, grab our glider. or grab a dish towel, whatever you have. If you don't have anything, that is okay. The movement still can be done without a glider. It's just that with the glider, it just is a little more of a challenge. Let's see if this is gonna collide here. <laughs> and polish is wood. <laughs> okay. We are going to, the sticks are gonna be used for support, driving them in. We're gonna be gliding back to a back lunge and coming up. We're gonna do four reps each direction. 
So when you're pulling the leg up, you're activating and working that quad, that thigh, that quad muscle, guiding back, opening the hip. We'll go in the direct lunge back, and then we're gonna go into a curtsy. Curtsy, and then that third part will be a glide lateral, working that adductor, okay? So let's try this. So that glider is right underneath your right foot. Drive the sticks in. Go nice, work with control and precision, and start to glide the stick back. Oops, I'm gonna have to move forward here. Okay, here we go. Glide back and up, keeping a softened knee in that right leg. And again, glide back, drive the leg up, as you drive the leg up, I want you to focus on your powerhouse, your core. Draw navel into the spine. And up, nice. We're gonna go into that curtsy now. Here we go. So curtsy lunge back. Try to keep those sticks parallel. Drive and up. Let's go again. As I'm guiding the leg back, my arms are pushing the sticks forward. Two more. Feeling this work actually more in the left leg, the leg that has the load on it there. And come on up. Nice, all right. Getting ready for lateral movement. Drive the sticks in. I want you to think at least 50 to 60% tension drive, maybe more. Nice strong support, and here we go. Glide out, pull it in. You're feeling it right in that adductor. Let's do three more. Glide out and in. Working that leg. Nice. One more. Using the sticks as a support tool to help with form is awesome. Let's just go ahead and do a little wax on, wax off for the hip, little circles. One more time in each direction. And switch legs. Here we go. Foot on your glider, drive, feet parallel, legs parallel. Here we go. Glide back, sticks move forward, drive the leg up. One, with the breath, working a little single leg work here. Two, Whoop. three, <laughs> I'm hitting those bolts here. <laughs> and four, now we're gonna go into that curtsy. There we go, glide back. Try to keep that front knee facing forward, try to keep that foot parallel. So watching your form here. And drive up. One. Two. Starting to sweat a little bit here. Three. And yes, four. Let's go right into that lateral. Here we go. Glide out. Drive that leg in, feel that adductor working. Glide out. Two more. Start looking around for a place to place your sticks into either the baseboard or like a wall. So we're gonna move to you're gonna anchor, look for an anchor point. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Not enough coffee this morning, you guys. So find an anchor point, okay? Mine is right behind me. If you need to move your phone, your iPad, computer to a place, let it join you. Okay, right, we're coming to the ends of the six here. The grip is right at the end. So make sure you have a strong grip. If you feel more comfortable at the very ends of the grips, that's fine. And we're gonna slowly, this is the interesting thing, 
push the sticks, drive them into that baseboard, feeling those triceps activate, you're activating that posterior chain again. Here we go, but I want you to focus on core and powerhouse too. You can go ahead and just hinge the hips back, hinge the hips back. Push the sticks down. Legs are straight here, feeling that stretch again in the backs of those legs. And come up. Let's do two more. Pull the hips back. Now you're not just hinging, you're also pressing the sticks behind you. At least 40 to 50% tension. And come up, arms are bones straight. Let's do it again. And come on up, nice. All right, stepping back just a little bit. Stepping back between the sticks and now your grip is high. Nice strong grip right here. Again, feet parallel. Let's go ahead and I want you to pull the hips back again. It's a little bit of a hang. The hips are back. Now from here, bending the knees and let's lift the heels. Raise them up. One, let's do four. Two, three, four. Hold this. You're in your high heels and slowly come on up. Yes. And lower the heels. All right, let's do that little flow. So hanging back, you're pulling back. The arms are long and strong here. Lift the heels, raise up, and lower. One more. Hinge back. Lift the heels. Raise up. I'm, as I'm raising up, I'm driving those sticks into that wall. And lower. Nice. All right, you can lower your grip a little bit here. Lowering the grip. Coming a little bit further. And let's go into a squat. The sticks are gonna move with us. Right into a squat. Keep that length, keep driving. And start to open the arms. Nice lateral reach and lower let's do two more open up and lower open and lower and slowly come back out nice job now i'm going to step a little bit forward so my arms are closer to my body here we're going to still work those lateral raises a bit Feet are just hip width. Here we go. Take a nice squat. Keep the chest elevated. Try to keep that clavicle open. Drive the sticks down. Breathe. I want you to just raise the right heel. We're doing a lot of calf work in this class. I, I realize we are working the calves a lot. Lift and lift. Now try to lift both and lower, nice. Come back up. We're gonna go back into that squat and add a lateral raise. Time under tension though, here we go. Drive, take a sit, nice and strong. Keep the clavicle open, open those arms. Right to a T, one. The key here is keeping that tension into that wall behind you. Again, at least 50 to 60%. If you want to go stronger, go stronger. Breathe. Let's do two more. Open. Nice. This is our strength portion. One more. And lower. And I want you to just slowly, slowly come out of that squat. Whoo, my gosh. 
Nice work, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna work a little bit of core, and then we'll go into a few deep stretches like slap shot and bow and arrow. Ditching your second stick. So we'll be working with just one right now. Come on down and have a seat. Okay, right here. We're gonna be working bridges and crunches. You're in a nice little V-sit here. Just for the fun of it, let's do some more grip activations. Here we go. 40 to 50% push. 40 to 50% pull. Keep that pull activation and start to lower. Vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae, okay? Bone by bone. Roll on down, pull the knees in. Stick comes right above. Here we go. Pull the stick apart, 40 to 50%, and keep that activation and lower it into the chest. Now push the lower back into the ground. Draw the knees up to tabletop and press the stick, hard press the stick into the thighs here. So you have that tabletop at 90 degree here and open the arms just a little bit wider and we're just gonna do crunches. So keeping that tension into the thighs, let's do 10 crunches. So lift head and shoulders. Now, if this is like too much on your neck, you can ditch the stick or have one hand behind the head and neck for support and lift and lift. As you lift up, push that lower back into the floor. Keep that connection. The feedback is you're feeling it in the tops of your thighs. You're feeling that lower back press into the floor. One more, hold. Legs come to the sky. Rest the head and shoulders for a moment. Keep pressing the stick into those thighs. We're gonna do scissors or straight single leg stretches. So if you can, lift the head and neck. If this is too much, you can just rest your head and neck on the floor. Try to lift a couple inches and extend one leg 45 and connect. 45, connect. Breathe. Take four more. And three. And two, last one. Tabletop those legs. Rest the head and neck. And feet come down to the floor. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple bridges. So stick comes up, push those shoulder blades into the floor. This is a shoulder bridge, and but we're having we're working our grip too. We will do, let's do 10. Here we go. Peel the tailbone up, lift the hips. Now if you can, bring the feet in just a little bit closer if you can. And slowly lower. The stick comes low. Here we go. Two. And three. Keep that activation on the stick. Four. Breathe. Five, six. Now we have four more, but we're gonna just change it up a bit. Lift on this one. Right knee comes in, leg comes straight, and lower that leg to your left leg. Flex the foot. Lower it down for one. Keep that grip up. And two, up. Then that knee, replace it. Left leg, draw the knee in, extend, flex that foot and lower. Keep lifting those hips. Lift and lower, lift, draw the knee in, replace it. 
and slowly bone by bone, lower the back, press that lower back into the floor, pull the knees in, press, either roll to one side or rock up to, roll up to sit, right here. Nice job, you guys. All right, coming on up. Let that stick assist you. <laughs> We're gonna go into bow and arrow. We're gonna get a couple bow and arrows in and finish with our deep stretch of slap shot. Two of my favorites. So starting with a stick at three o'clock, right here, three o'clock. And the stick's maybe about 10 inches from that right foot. Lower your grip to the sticker here, 90 degrees. Drive. Drive, drive, drive. Reaching up with that left hand. The key to bow and arrow is keeping that drive into the floor. So you're, it's working oppositional actually. It's an oppositional strength move. You're gonna shift hips to the left. Drive. With that left hand, big inhale. Exhale, activate. So you're pressing and you're pulling and just hold. Not too deep. This is our first one. And ease off. I think we could do three on each side. So I want you to progress into deep, deeper, deepest bow and arrow. Make that third one your best one. Your fuller range of motion. Here we go. Shift hips. Big inhale. And exhale. Wherever you're at right now, you have, you have a deeper activation coming up. You can do it. Ease off. What I love about bow and arrow is how it opens up that whole entire lateral line from the bottom of that foot all the way up to the bleak sling to the tip of those fingers. Here we go. Third one. Drive. First time, I love seeing people's faces the first time they experience bow and arrow in my class. It's kind of like an aha moment. <laughs> Here you go. Shift, take a big inhale, and aha moment. <laughs> Open. You can explore this. You can internally rotate the hip if you want. Get even deeper. Breathe. Ease off slowly. Nice job, you guys. Shake it out. Let's hit that other side. Nine o'clock. Drive the stick. High grip. This floor is kind of slippery. <laughs> We're going to shift. Shift to the right. First one. Inhale. Exhale. Activate. Not too deep. Just hold. Ease off. Shake it out. Bow and arrow number two. Maybe it's 10 or 20% full range of motion. Drive. Shift the hips. Big inhale. Exhale. Breathe and ease off. Nice. Okay. Let's work our aha moments bow and arrow here. Drive. Shift, inhale, and exhale, activate, yes. Enjoy this stretch. If you want to internally rotate and just look to the sky, it's an option. And slowly ease out, nice. Bring the stick right on, I feel good. Right behind the lower back. We have time for a, a slap shot. Final move. So it's right behind the sacrum here. Connect that stick, palms facing forward. Let's start with a hinge, hinge to 90. Those toes are slightly turned out. <clears throat> now with this um, slap shot, I'm not gonna progress you, so I want you to guide the stick across that right hip. Keep guiding. 
I want you to actually go to the point that you can go, that's a challenge for you. I'm taking mine to 12 o'clock right now. If you're looking at the clock, you've got one, two, maybe it's two o'clock. If you can hit 12, go for it. Open up, take a big inhale, exhale, let's laterally lunge to ooh, our right. Looking to the floor. Let's flow to the left. One more time to the right. Open those arms. And to the left. Breathe. Bring it center. And slowly ease on out. Roll that stick across the lower back. Let's go right into that left side. Here we go. Guiding it across the left hip. Go to your range. Now on this side, I feel like I can go a little bit beyond 12. So go to the challenging point for yourself. Big inhale, exhale, laterally lunge to the left. Keep looking to the floor. Take it to the right, feeling it in the left adductor. Breathe. Here we go, one more time. Lunging over, left. Right. back to center and you're going to slowly slowly roll the stick across the back bring those feet parallel bring them parallel right here let's work a little bit of stability and try this try to balance that stick right along your lower back when you're ready lift Challenging your stability here. Open. Hands connect. And slowly come on out of it. Nice job, you guys. While we're here, let's just take a nice standing rest pose. Taking that sick right at 12 o'clock. Just shake everything out. Stick is just right at an angle here. With the breath, I want you to inhale. Pull the stick in. As you exhale, we're gonna go into a spine stretch. Just looking between those arms, really enjoy your grip wherever you wanna grip. You want to explore this movement a little bit more, maybe add a little flow to it, a little side to side flow. Take it back center. And bone by bone, I want you to get a little C curve in, in your core here and that spine. And bone by bone, round up. Take it to the rib cage chest, open up the clavicle, open up the heart, grabbing that stick. One more time, I, I lied, slap shot wasn't the last move. <laughs> I'm looking to have more time, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna, just, just mobility stuff, you guys. Let's roll the stick right across the hips here. Actually, I want you just to enjoy this. We worked hard, working those legs. We're gonna take a wrap to our right behind the head, neck and shoulders. Here we go, so dip the stick down and bring it up and around. And again, wrap with the breath, big inhale. 
exhale. Last one, we'll switch sides. Wrap it across the hips again. And we'll take four wraps on the left side. Here we go. Take it up and around. I want you to move through that, that upper thoracic spine area. Really, you've got a lot of mobility going on here. And wrap. And that concludes our mobility flow for Thursday. So a little bit of a different location for me today. I came down to the Stick Mobility Studio to film today. Normally I'm in my dark living room. <laughs> I'm not used to the bright lights. <laughs> so my name is Coach Deb and you can find all of our Stick Mobility classes. I think there's about 190 of them now. This might be class, I think this might be class 190 or 189. Yeah, I think it's 190. So a lot of them and they live on our YouTube page, so please follow the Stick Mobility YouTube. They are also on the IGTV on this page right now too. Any questions on the sticks, where to get them, what the cost is, all that, please direct message the Stick Mobility people. They can get back to you. If you have any questions, you can also follow me on Instagram, Debbie F. Gleason. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Ciao.